What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Day 6. Yes, indeed. Day 6 fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Charles B, and this is actually one of Charles B's three prioritized requests for the month of March for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Charles. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Charles B wanted to see me react to this song by day six called shoot me explosions now have i heard the song before no i have not to the best of my knowledge this does not resonate with me in any way shape or form however there's always a possibility i may have heard the song in passing and i just don't realize it so as always if i start listening to the song and i suddenly go wait a minute wait a minute i recognize this song i'll let you know that's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by JYP Entertainment. Yeah, surprise, surprise. And the video has 48 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we are. Go. All right, here we go. Day six, shoot me, MV, music video. But it doesn't say official music video, thankfully, because it's coming off, but it is coming off the record label's official page. Oh boy. Well, uh, it doesn't say official, so everybody, shh, don't, don't say anything. Hopefully, we'll get away with this. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this! Almost got like a. I mean, it definitely has like a Caribbean feel to it. Almost, I mean, borderline reggae feel to it. Almost, not quite, but really close with those upbeats. Yeah, man, it's got a nice groove to it. I gotta say. Uh, it feels good. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, no, this has got a really nice groove to it. Um, feels good, sounds good. I mean, everything is across the board. Everything is green lighting. So, I mean, I I got no issue with what I'm hearing so far. Just keeping in mind, you know, and, and keeping let, let, let's call things a spade a spade. It is a poppy song. It is a poppy song. I would not call this a rock song by any stretch, but 
it does feel good. So let's keep going. Let's see what happens here. I cannot believe I'm going to say this. I'm enjoying this. I actually am. And the rock element is definitely there. I mean, yeah, it's still poppy, but the rock element is definitely there. Um, Maybe even more so than the first reaction I did to these guys. Um, sounds good. It sounds good. That pre-chorus really showing off the vocals and the vocalist's uh, ability, which was really nice. But then when, once the chorus kicks in, it, it just, the power just absolutely takes over from where it was left off from, from the verse. You know, when you get to the pre-chorus, you kind of felt the, the, the power kind of come down a little bit compared to where we were in the verse. So here was the power in the verse, right? And then we get to the pre-chorus and the, the power is right about here. But then, when we get to the chorus, it comes above where it was in the verse. So you had this kind of a curve to it. Really nice. Really nice. I, I, I like what they did there. Um, I'm enjoying this. I, I, like I said, I can't believe I'm saying that, but I, I am. And I, I'll, I'll stand by it. I am, I am enjoying this. Um, let's finish this out, and we'll get to the review. Not at all what I was ready for. Not at all what I was expecting. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we're going to talk about it, but I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty short review. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how it goes, I guess. Well, there you go, folks. That was Day 6 with Shoot Me. This was a request from Charles B., and this was actually one of Charles B's three prioritized requests for the month of March for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Charles. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, <laughs> I got a score here and I, I gotta say, I, I'm a little surprised by the score, if I'm being honest with you. It, it was not at all what I was expecting this to be. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that an 8.4. Yep, 
8.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? I enjoyed this. I, I can't believe I'm saying that, but I actually enjoyed this. Yes, the poppiness was there. I get it. But there are a lot of rock bands who also have poppiness in them uh, to some extent. I mean, I'm going to say this. And I know I know fans of this band are going to absolutely come after me for saying this. I'm going to name a band here that you would not associate with poppiness, but I'm going to mention them anyway, The Misfits. Think about some of the songs they've written. Look at the song. Okay, how about this? We'll just take this one song. This, this is my opening argument and my closing argument and the only piece of evidence I really need. Look at the song, She. Look at that song. Really look at that song. Do you not see the poppiness in that song? Look at the chordal structures. Look at the feel of the song. Look at the direction of the song. Absolutely, it has some poppiness to it. It absolutely does. Does that make it any less rock? Does that make it any less punk? No, absolutely not. It, it's still punk. Absolutely, without question. But there are definitely poppy elements to it. And look, there's There are other songs that I can mention. How about London Dungeon? Does that song not have some poppiness to it? How about Where Eagles Dare? Does that not have some poppiness to it? Of course it does. But it's still a punk band without question. That's all about the drive and the energy and the attitude. But there, within the chordal structures, there's some definite pop there. So same thing here. The pop is there. It, it is there, definitely. But I I can't believe I'm going to say this. I, <laughs> I felt like there was more rock in this than there was pop. I really did. I felt there was more rock element. Yeah, the poppiness was there. The voicings were there. The 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 the, uh, the the digital percussion was there. Yes, it was. But it had far more of a rock feel and far more of a rock groove than it had pop, in, in my opinion, anyway. Now, I, I, I know not everybody's going to agree with me on that, but I really feel this was a much stronger direction for rock than it was for pop. Pop was there, no question. But it, I was feeling the rock all the way through on this song. Uh, started out with that kind of Caribbean feel slash almost reggae feel. I was like, this is interesting. Let's see where this goes. And then it took off and we never, we never looked back. Um, instrumentation all sounded really nice. Uh, vocals sounded really good. I, I, I got no complaints, honestly, about this song. Um, a nice short song too, to boot. Um, one of the keys to making a hit song, uh, length, it, it is, it is a factor. And uh, the magic number of 346, we didn't even get to it. We were under three minutes on this, which was interesting. Um, but it did everything it needed to do, came in, did the damage it needed to do, and then it got out. Did not overstay its welcome. Gotta appreciate that. You absolutely gotta appreciate that. Now look, this was a great song. I mean, a lot more than I was expecting. Um, I dug it. I absolutely dug it. Um, if this is the direction that day six is going, um, we, we could be in for some good times with these guys. We, we could be. Um, this might be the first band to just totally ditch the pop and make themselves a rock band. I would really like to see that happen. These guys could very well be the ones that they could be. And I would have no problem with it if they were. Um, Hopefully, hopefully we will see that. That that would be nice to see. But in any case, for this song, 8.4 is where we're at. 8.4 is where we're going to stay, surprisingly. 8.4, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.